uh, probably the Vega doesn't like the black color so I will try to scan the white remote control which, uh, see if it can scan the white color better using all the marker here okay I will use the hybrid mode feature and marker alignment and this is white color so it should be able to uh, track this if it cannot scan this I think Vega has a problem okay I'm in a good distance I will scan the side of the remote okay, and then I will slowly rotate so that I can get the size for overlapping okay it looks like that it works better with a white color object Okay, I have a full circle. I will zoom in. Okay, you just see this. Alright, I stop the scan and then I make another separate scan. I click on a save. I flip this over to the back side. I'll do the second scan. Yeah, I can see that it works much, much better with the white color. Okay, looks like it's all there. And then I will uh, uh, send this to the PC and try to merge it. Uh, so we have uh, this one remote here and here so I will uh, crop right and then I delete the less of it okay so I, I can't delete uh, the markers all there that's strange and then I will mesh 0.14 okay so I'm not sure what this is but Uh, it's not there on the remote No, it's the same as when I scan the black uh, Controller I have this too. Uh, that's strange isn't it when I scan uh, with the markers Why they have a double wall like it losing track? I will mesh to uh, 0.14 same as before okay uh, this one looks much better yeah you, you can't even see the indentation let's try the merging alignment okay so you need to merge before processing the point cloud. They have auto alignment. Let's try it. No, doesn't work. Can I cancel it? Because the point cloud has not been processed. I cannot see the seam line. One. One. See. This corner, two. Two and this corner three and probably somewhere here three alignment ah, okay and then I should click on add to list alignment successful how can I exit this viewport okay workspace alignment okay we have alignment here and then I will uh, generate the mesh let's say one four. okay so it looks okay in the front and in the back i don't know what happened it's just white color remote control shouldn't be anything behind it 
I would say merging uh, Creality Scan does it better because it merged after you process the point cloud. So you can see the seam line and the overlapping area very clearly. But with the Star Vision, the Wigger, uh, it merged before you process the point cloud. So you cannot pinpoint the seam line. Uh, so it's a bit more difficult to uh, merge but it does the job uh, except for that it has like uh, I don't know what is this double layer noise something I don't know I will try to check for uh, dimension of this remote control for accuracy so I measure the width of a third button here and also the length of the remote control at the center it has the uh, ASC format uh, 0.18 I export it and then we go to car compare and measure it okay it is, is from the wicker the edge and then I go across it here Right. So it's 44.2. See, so trying to find the most extruded part. Okay, so it's 138.7. Yeah, 43.88. The length at the center. 137.82 okay here's the report uh here's the what i measured from the caliper here's from the point clouds and the width it has uh 330 microns earlier which is about 0.75 percent too long and on the length it's uh 920 microns too long which is about 0.67 percent earlier so uh, the number 0.75 and 0.67 seems reasonable so i think that uh, the scanning result for, uh, with the white color object is larger than the real object about 0.7 percent Uh, the width is uh, 140 micron and on the length is 240 micron which is less than half of the earlier from Vigor. They are both uh, scanned with the markers so that would be the best accurate that they can get from each scanner.